Don't forget to click subscribe so you get notifications whenever a new book is released or a new instructional video. Hi again readers! Today's story we're going to read is called Some Smug Slug and it is written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Henry Cole. Today's book is a great mentor text for families or teachers to teach and go over alliteration which is when you have more than one word in a row that begin with the same first letter. Many of you might also know these as tongue twisters. And believe it or not, even though tongue twisters are fun, they also help students prove, improve their pronunciation. Apparently I need to work on mine. They get a better flow of speech. It improves your memory. And also actually does improve students' reading. Now one of the most popular ones I'm sure many of you know, especially if you're my age, is Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now what's really fun is if you get some short ones, it's really fun to try to read them two or three times in a row, five times if you want to challenge yourself. And if you just go online, you can find a bunch of them. So this one's not too bad. Zebra zig and zebra zag. This one has always been tricky. I, I cannot do it more than once. She sells, I can't even do it once, she sells seashells by the seashore. Let's see if we can do it three times. She, she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells shells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Can't do it. It's so fun though. Try it with your friends. Okay, we're going to read Some Smug Slug. And you can probably guess for this book on alliteration, a lot of our words are going to begin with the letter S. You'll also see I have some markings here, and I'm going to tell you about those as we read when we get to them. One summer Sunday, while strolling on soil, with its antenna signaling, a slug sensed a slope. Slowly, the slug started up the steep surface, stringing behind it a scribbling, sparkling like silk. Can you see that? Stop, screamed a sparrow, shattering the silence. Save him, shrieked a spider scurrying down its strand. I wonder what they're all worried about. He's just walking along. What do you think they're all worried about? Silly, sighed a swallowtail, huh, swooshing through the spice bush. Sap head snickered a skink as its sapphire tail swished. Now, I put a little note here at the question mark because I actually had to look up the word sap head. I've never heard that word. And I looked it up and it means fool or goofball. This is something you can do when you're reading. If you come to a word you don't know or a part that you find interesting, mark it with a little post-it note. With a shrug of its shoulders on the slug sauntered, with a swagger it slithered up, up the slant. See, my tongue's getting a little twisted already with this alliteration. Show off, scolded a squirrel, storing nuts for the season. Put a little star there because I figured out what smug means. Smug means show off. So sad, squealed a stink bug, shivering on a stem. For one single second in a sunbeam it slumbered. Its sleek skin was soft like a sh shantong. See, look at these S's. I'm going to try that again. For one single second in a sunbeam it slumbered. Its sleek skin was soft like a shantong. You might see I have a question mark again over here. Because I did not know what shantung was. I looked it up and it means like a really silky material. Seldom swerving or straggling or swaying or skewing, the smug slug shambled on. Struggling up to the summit, the slimy slug smiled a self-satisfied smile. And I wrote here, cute. I thought this part was cute. I like a little smile. In spite of sinister signs, it showed no suspicion. And I put, let's make a prediction here. What, what do I think there should be any suspicion about? I mean, to me, it looks like maybe a rock or like where um, ants make their homes underneath the ground. What do you think that might be that he's walking over? Were you predicting that? I was not until something shifted and shuddered and shook. That sly, slippery slope was simply a sham. And he's right by his mouth. 
Such a shock. Such a shame. Such a succulent slug. I marked here that I used a context clue, another word from the story, to figure out what succulent means. You can tell the slug's not here anymore, and the frog is licking his lips. So what do you think succulent means? Do you think that that slug was yummy or yucky? I'm going to go with yummy. Now here's the best part. You have to take this book out because it says, Somewhere in this story, did you see a skunk, a snake, a salamander, and two snails spying on the slug? I did not notice that until I read this, and I had to go back and look for it. Also hidden in each picture is an S shape. Can you spot it? This one is pretty easy. But what a fun book to take out at your city library or at your library at school and see if you can find those things. Plus, see how well you are at tongue twisters and alliteration. Until next time, have a great day, readers.